Hello friends, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In this video, we are going to check for prime numbers in C++. As usual, the algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. A prime number may be defined as any number that has only two factors, the digit 1 and the number itself. Using this definition, write down a computer solution that can allow a number to be entered as input and output a message indicating whether or not the given number is prime is a prime. Do not assume any predefined function. To the algorithm, we are going to ask the user to input the particular number. So we input number. Then you're going to create an empty variable called number of factors. So we set number of factors to be zero. So the number of factors equals zero. So this number of factors is going to count the number of factors of the number the user is going to enter. Now, to know the number of factors of a particular number, we know that a prime number has only two factors, and these two factors go into the number completely without any remainder. So, if I have 5 and 5 is a prime number, its factors are 1 and 5, and I know that 1 and 5 go into 5 completely without any remainder. So, the remainder is going to be 0, right? Or any other, no any other number, the number of factors go into that particular number without any remainder now if i know if i know the number of factors i can check that if that particular number has only two factors then it's a prime number if not then it is not a prime number so i'm going to set a for loop that is going to run from 1 to 10 and then i say if the number modulus i is equal to 0 then it should increase the number of factors by 1 and then n if and then n4 so the i here is going to change from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 up to 10 and be checking if that number is a factor because you know to be a factor you must go into your number completely without any remainder so now that we know the number of factors we are going to check if the number of factors is equal to 2 then we should print that the number is a prime number else we should print that the number is not a prime number so again the idea is that a factor goes into its number without any remainder. That is why we have the number modulus i equals 10. So you're going to be checking from 1 to 10 if that number has a remainder of 0, then it's a factor of that number and then we increase it. Let's convert the algorithm to code in C and see how it goes. So in the int main function, I declare number, number of factors to be integers and I initialize number of factors to be 0. Then I ask the user to input a number. So I say enter a number. See in enter. See how it's enter a number and then see in number. So I set the for loop which is going to count the number of factors of a particular number the user is going to input. Then I set the if statement which is going to check if the number of factors is equal to 2, then it's a prime number. Else, if the number of that means if the number of factors is not 2, then that particular number is not a prime number. So I end my code with system was greater than 0 and then return 0. This will ensure that only the needed information will be displayed when we run our code and then return 0 is just by custom. So let me input a number and we're going to check if that number is a prime number or not. So I entered 5 and it says that 5 is a prime number because 5 has only two factors 1 and then 5. Let's input another number and see. Now I entered 8 and say 8 is not a prime number because we know that 8 has more than two factors. That is 1, 2, 4, and then 8 itself. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and then subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, apart, yeah.